did uh, talk about um, 21 Bridges in my non-spoiler review. And basically, I just felt like, you know, they could have did so much more with this movie. I mean, overall, did I enjoy it? Yeah. But I can see where critics, because right now, the... uh, Right now, it's at like 45% at um, on Rotten Tomatoes. So, I just feel like I understand why it's right there. I mean, one, I need, uh, I feel like people, these are like people who've already seen the movie. But I also feel like um, it's a bit early. So, I say give it time. Like, it literally just came out Friday. So, you know, give it time, you know, for people to, you know, see the movie and all. But at the same time, I see why if somebody went to the theater and said this movie was bad, I could see why. Because one, the movie was rushed. <laughs> okay. Would have been the best method. Yeah. I feel like if they did because... Wait, hold on. Have you seen the movie? <laughs> Already? Have you seen it? Also, I had to uh, start this live over because I felt like... Like, my thoughts are there, but they're pretty much all over the place. So, I'm just trying to, you know, get my thoughts together. So, because this is going up on YouTube, just letting you know. <laughs> and any comment that you comment down below, you know, will not be shown in the video. So, you can just literally comment whatever, and you'll be completely fine. So, um, also, I just feel like I could see why people felt like, one, the movie was rushed. Two... There's some things that just did not make sense. Three, I feel like some things could have been was bootlegging it. <laughs> okay. Um <laughs> as far as like the acting is concerned, I feel like everybody did what they were supposed to with what they were given with. If that makes sense. Meaning they weren't given a lot, but what they were given, they did what they were supposed to do. They acted, you know, they, the like the acting department wasn't a problem. Chadwick did his thing. It's just because they were given so little, it makes it look bad, if that makes sense. Because, so first off, the movie starts off with, we have a scene where we're at the dad's funeral, right? Okay. Then we switch over. Andre is at this. I don't know if he's being interviewed for a position. I don't know why he's there for what. I don't know. But we find out that he's killed at least eight people in the past eight years. And I don't, and and the thing is, none of us know how long he's been working, you know, being a detective. We just know, or I don't know if he's trying to be. See, that's the thing, like, we don't know, like, is he a police officer? Was he a detective? Is he interviewing to be a detective? Like, what is going on here? Because they're trying to show him as he's this smart, you know, cunt. Because he's definitely cunt. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. He, you know, is this. We're given more to learn about their characters. It seemed like they learned about their characters as they work. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like it was just. Uh, like, again, like, we don't know what it is that Andre, like, I. And then, after that, we switch over to Andre's mama, and we don't know what's going on with her. We just know that she's older, she's taking her medicine, I don't know if she has dementia, I don't know if she has Alzheimer's, I don't know what's going on with her, but there's that. Then we switch over to, like, you see where I'm going? Like, it was a lot of, okay, we switch from this, boom. Then we switch to that, boom. Then we switch to this, boom. And it's like, (laughs) what? (laughs) Like, first of all, I feel like if they started the movie off with him being interviewed for whatever reason, 
and we find out that he's a trigger happy cop, right? <laughs> and then as the movie went on, growing his character, like just found out why he's like that and then somewhere like something happens where you know, he's met again with doing the same thing over again, but it's different this time and now he's like okay, why is he like this? And then we show, okay, when he was, like, young, he had, you know, his dad was a police officer, and he was killed in the line of duty, and he's just been affected ever since. And then, at one point, he, like, goes to his mama, and he's, like, you know, trying to get answers for her, like, from her, I guess, or just talk to her, and He's like, you know, tell me about dad. Well, you know, like, stuff like that. And your father was this. And your father, like, we found out more about the father. Like, it's just we have these characters and we know nothing about them. That's the thing. We know nothing. Like, we should and then have, like, some sort of character growth there. Like, we should have had that. And we didn't. We did not have that. And then the fact that they were trying to, like, they literally said in the movie that, you know, we have, like, five hours. <laughs> we have five hours to um, catch these guys. And it literally felt like they did this movie in five hours. <laughs> they literally, it felt like they did this movie in five whole hours. Because... Oh, my God. Then we have this female, because they were trying to do this whole plot twist, the female detective or whatever. I I cannot forget her name. I cannot remember her name. But her, she's supposed to be behind all of this. And then the white-headed bald guy, white-headed, white guy with the bald head, him, that he's supposed to be, you know, you know, that he was supposed to be behind it too, but even with that, when he was just like all upset and distraught that, oh my gosh, these police officers are dead and <laughs> call her Becky with a good air. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. I'm going to call her Becky. <laughs> Child, let's go for it. I mean, it's like, again, they could have did, and then even with the uh what's I'm calling what's the name Stefan Stefan James cuz I don't know his name in the movie either <laughs> look I only know Andre's character like <laughs> everybody else I'm just like what but it's like even with that like they show oh well he was you know in the military he was honorably discharged right but what happened in that, where he started selling drugs, <laughs> like, where in that, where, how did he go from this? Like, what did he do to be honorably, honorably discharged? We don't know what he did. Like, we don't know. Like, what happened? Why was he honorably discharged? Why is he now selling drugs? <laughs> like, what is going on? And then... Again, like I said, they should have did this like clue, like nobody is exempt because before the, even before the movie came out, I put out a theory. I said, what if, what if Andre is the one that's behind all this? That would have been perfect plot twist that Andre is doing all of this. And then we find out at the end that he's the one out here (laughs) trying to sell drugs. Like that would have been cool. Because, like I said, with the whole clue, technically, like, nobody is safe. Nobody is. Okay. Like, they could have at least had this man missing a limb or something. Like, right, some explanation that, you know, they could have touched on, you know, that, you know, he was, something happened. He was honorably discharged. He was probably homeless or whatever, or, you know, because it's hard for veterans out here. We know that. And then he just turned to selling drugs, and then this happens, right? And it's like, (sighs) nothing. Like, we got absolutely nothing. Now, I will say as far as, like, the action scenes is concerned, it's cool, you know? 
they like I said, the acting and the the action part of the movie is completely fine. It's just the characters, the plot, the plot. Like I see what they were trying to do, but they just. And the thing is, I wonder because this movie is set in New York, but they filmed it in Philadelphia because they said it was cheaper to film there. So I wonder, like, what was the budget for this movie? You know, what was the budget? Because, or even that, I don't think the budget really has, I don't know if the budget has anything to do with anything, but... Hey, and then for y'all to push this movie back to to here, because y'all had to do some refilming and all that. Like, what? And this is what y'all give us? So I know it sounds like I'm just ripping the movie, because I really am. But really, it's it's a good, like, when you see the concept of what they're trying to do, and it's like, okay, I see what y'all trying to do. The execution <laughs> is where the problem is. It's the execution. And I feel like Chadwick is concerned. I feel like I honestly feel like I don't know. I feel like like what if he was like, okay, let me do this movie so I can, you know, kind of not necessarily break away but kind of break away from the whole Black Panther thing I wonder I think the budget includes how much the people on the set pay location costumes makeup and permits more than like yeah yeah I think that's what that is but as far as like who's writing the movie I don't think the budget has anything to do with that I just I just felt like it could have did so much more so much more and like I said the whole concept of this, you know, the whole concept of Clue, again, they should have had it like nobody's safe. Like, you're going to be questioning every single body that's there. You're going to be questioning Andre. You're going to be questioning Becky. You're going to be questioning. You're going to be questioning the random police officer that's probably just an extra, but I'm going to question him because I, I can't trust nobody. And and then um in a way i did see where it was a bit predictable especially when we know that um especially when we know the um reason why they had to push back the movie it was a bit predictable right i'm gonna have to question myself like am i did i do something <laughs> you know like did i did i do something wrong what did i do <laughs> but it's just you can't help but feel like when you have the bad uh, Stefan James character, like you just can't help that <sighs> I'm just <laughs> I'm trying to think. You can't help but you know feel that okay, this is a setup. Like this because one when do the other guy, the white guy, when he shot up the police officers, you can tell it like, okay, this was not part of the plan. <laughs> okay, clearly, uh, this is not part of the plan. I mean, I didn't even steal a pencil off the floor one time. I didn't steal a pencil off the floor. Right, like, it should just, it should have been, um, I just feel like, um, like, I can see where it's predictable. Because even the way he was behaving, like, you know, they weren't trying to do that. They weren't trying to kill police officers. And then it's almost like they were trying to base this movie off of the fact of, you know, cop killing and all that. Like, it's just, <laughs> that's what it feel like. They're just trying to base it off of that. Like, let's make this movie about, you know, people killing cops and let's catch them. Which is what I was kind of worried about. Because of the climate that we're in, yeah, police officers get killed every day. I mean, this is what they signed up for, but I was nervous. I'm like, okay, because really, it's almost like people ain't trying to hear that, really. Because what is the percentage? Let's find out. 
what is the percentage of police officers being killed every day? Let's find out. Trying to make it more politically correct than it needed to be. Uh oh. Child, Chawi is really out here. <laughs> and as far as Andre's con- con- ter- character, let's see, what is the percent percentage of police deaths? Excuse me. She's showing off the knees. <laughs> um. Let's find out what is the percentage from when? No, I just need a percentage. Okay, police officers killed up to like fifty cent, fifty cent, fifty six percent. This is like in two thousand fourteen, so that should have been more specific. <laughs> but I guess my point that I'm trying to make because I don't want to give what is the percentage of police brutality police brutality so this in around child police Brutality. Okay. All right. Mapping police violence. All right. This is cool. In 2018. Oh, Jesus Christ. (laughs) What is this? Police killed 1,700... Wait. 1,147 people in 2017. Black people were the 25% of those killed disputes, being only 13% of the population. Okay. So I guess my point I'm trying to make is, a lot of people, it's not that they don't care about police deaths. I just feel like there are a lot more police brutality incidents than it is. I don't know. I don't want to state any wrong information, but what I'm trying to say is a lot of people don't care about that. You know, especially when there's a lot of injustice happening. So, I was really worried that, okay, are they trying to... And then you got this black man here. Look, we're not going to go there. (laughs) We are not going to go there. We're not trying to, you know, ride that boat. Okay, we're just going to cut that right there. But... (laughs) 